Chelsea now more optimistic of beating Arsenal in race to sign 70 million pounds start. It's a crucial point in the season now at Chelsea after at the back of an excellent January transfer window. Now is the time for a result on the pitch. Of course, with all this new signing arrival at the club, there is going to be a period of bidding in and gelling and supernatus for example. Only trying for one part of training session last week, we were being thrown straight into the mix again full hand. He was still one of the best players on the pitch, but at the end of the day, it will take some time for this player to learn what grandfather wants from them and to gel with their teammates. The they were left processed again full hand on Friday, and it was another reality check for Blues fans, really. Expectation had grown after all the new signing arrival in January, but it was his usual suspect putting in a Boris performance that seen them struggle to even manage two shots on target all game in front of their own fans at Stubber Bridge. It's a pinnacle moment for Chelsea now because the owners still have a belief that they can now push for a top four. As though it might be, but to do that, you have to win games like we have at home. So there will be a period of time now where Potter will be working in training with his new signings as well as Horst of returning injured players, he will know that he has to get them all ticking together on the pitch and he will know that the result have to come now as the glavoracy continues to back and support Potter as long-term project manager. Speaking a project, Chelsea will continue into the summer despite spending around £300 million in the winter window. There are still some positions that the club will look to address in the summer and come again it is the midfield there will be a priority. Does he need to find the perfect double pivot partner for Enzo? To allow him to unlock and play with creative freedom. The club will do this and that is why once again I'm starting to hear midfield names that we have an hour ago for the summer. But as he has decided to work with Moses Casado at Brighton again so there are changes. They could go back in for him. But the club has already started laying down some groundwork. Or West Ham the can rise for a potential summer move. There will be serious competition up front, Arsenal as well. I've been hearing more optimism this week on Chelsea change to land rise. Fully or seven upon by the telegraph, but there's a long way to get yet on his wand. In attack as well, they will be looking to replace Pierre Emery Abomayang. How would even still live before at the summer? with rumors of a move to the Emelis coming to Britain today. Aubameyang was removed from Chelsea, Simple League scored and then didn't even make the match day squad for Fulham. He was instead spot in Milan. There's more going on here behind the skin and something has the blue. I was told over the weekend that he would be training with the under-21s this week. Did he even come back at all? The situation that could the up was now but at the very last, he will go on in the summer. I feel there is more than miss the eye here. There are even still doubts on Kay Havert. Chelsea voted despite very many searches playing down their interests. But the Sega club are monitoring and he still has a lot to prove this season if he want to stay at Double Bridge. Regardless of that, does he like a true number 9 and there have been a lead. Link with Peter Osman on Napoli. Again this week, Jesse have been scouting him for some time, even before the new owner came in and still still a player there really like under the new recommend team. As I reported last week as well, before Ivan Tony is on the Chelsea radar, but they need to wait and see what happened with his gambling case. Zaj Vlahovic from Sevilla is another number 9 that Chelsea continue to monitor. The only other party position will then big goalkeeper, but Chelsea at the moment are still deciding what kind of stopper to pursue. The club and grandfather really like Kepo Arzibliga, and he continues to play well for Chelsea, so there will be a decision to make now whether Chelsea pursue a top-class new number one or someone more early to pick up Kepa. They are looking at the host of name already with Robert Sanchez at Brighton, Diego Costa at Porto and Davo Raya at Brentford on the list. Also been told Chelsea like Southampton goalkeeper, even Bazzini, and it could be another to keep an eye on. 
The bottom line is that the club needs to sell some players to ensure they balance the books and keep on top of revenue of FFV. Hakim Ziyech was the victim of a technical error a deadline day. Also, it depends which side you ask. The show is moved to be as it down, so you can almost guarantee that they will be off in the summer. Christian Pulisic is actually like a lot by Potter, and the club have been refusing to give up on him. But a decision will need to be made by all parties there very soon, with the contract running out in 2024. The same general except for Messi, Kovacic, and Robin love to say as well. The club are currently deciding who to try and offer a new contract too, and who to let go some big decision to make there. To conclude for today, Jesse and Potter know that the club need to do all they can to try and make simple league. Football, it isn't the ball, all at the end, all this is end. but there's an acceptance that might throw in all a trying to make it. The club are interested in, and nobody is everything miracles straight away. I don't believe that what their future depends on it right now, but it would certainly be interesting to see what happens if they don't.